From our Sign Up for the Arts studio, this is your AUTV20 News Break. I'm Sean Rukuyan. Thanks for tuning in. 17 people have been accused of drug trafficking in the Mansfield area. A 26-count indictment was handed down by a federal grand jury accusing the group of distributing methamphetamine, heroin, fentanyl, and crack cocaine, with 15 being taken into custody, says Department of Justice. U.S. Attorney Justin Herdman says federal and local law enforcement have been working to deal with drug traffickers, specifically in Mansfield and Richland areas. According to the indictment, the group has been active since March of 2018, and prosecutors believe that the narcotics were acquired from suppliers in California. FBI Special Agent in Charge Eric Smith says collaborative efforts have been made over the past three years to, to rid the streets of Mansfield of over 150 individuals and will continue to disrupt drug trafficking organizations. Six communities have sustained an increase in gene fragments found in wastewater. These include Dayton, Columbus, Akron, Oregon, Sandusky, and Mansfield. Governor Mike DeWine has provided an update of the Ohio Coronavirus Wastewater Monitoring Network, saying those infected with COVID-19 shed the virus early in infection and the sustained increase in gene fragments could be an early sign of a rise in COVID-19 cases in a specific area. Richland Public Health has detected a trend of viral gene copes in the Mansfield sewer shed over the past seven days. Levels have increased 750% from September 13th to September 20th. All communities and sites are being offered testing and contact tracing assistance. The World Health Organization has cited drowning as one of the leading causes of unintentional injury death, with 53 people having drowned in Lake Michigan this year so far. This has marked a new high in a total of 931 drownings since 2010, says the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project, a nonprofit organization that tracks Great Lakes drownings. Dave Benjamin, the project's executive director of management, believes there is a connection between the COVID pandemic and the increase in drownings, and that there will likely be more drownings before the end of the year. The group gathers their information from news articles, social media reports, and tips from family and witnesses, saying social media has made the tracker more accurate. Now we'll look at our five-day weather forecast here in Ashland, Ohio. Today is partly cloudy, with a high of 56 and low of 38. Saturday is partly cloudy as well, with 57 as the high and 40 as the low. Scattered showers will begin on Sunday with a high of 57, and the showers will continue through Monday with a high of 61. Tuesday will be partly cloudy with 65 as the high and 46 as the low. That is it for this AUTV20 news break. Be sure to follow us across social media at AUTV20. I'm Sean McQueen. Thanks for watching.